Hello again, everybody. This is Virtual Farmer Ken Bob, and we are in the middle of some muck spreading. We went ahead and took care of that grass field back at the main farm, and we had quite a bit of manure left over, so we're going to go ahead and finish spraying or spreading the rest of it on some fields that we're going to be planting some corn in this year. The corn still has a couple of days before we can do any planting on it. So we're going to go ahead and take advantage of the fact that we've got a little bit of time. And maybe we'll get some rain. I don't know. Maybe that's good. Maybe that's not. But at any rate, we're out spreading manure. And uh, we're going to try to see if we can't finish off that barn, that manure heap. It's not got a whole lot left in it uh, we were able to get uh, I think this is my third trailer load out of it that grass field didn't take nearly as much as I thought it would take we had another field that uh, had a little bit of uh, areas that needed to be spread so we went ahead and spread those and we're in build nine right now which this year we're going to put in corn had soybeans in this field last year so as you can see it's not taking a lot of whoa it's not taking a lot of uh spreading soybeans put a lot of nitrogen in the ground from what i've heard So that gave us a bit of a start. Now we'll just go ahead and put this manure down and see if we can't get it topped off to the perfect nitrogen level for corn. Which we'll find that out later. Right now it's showing being uh, good, but I don't know if it's analyzing it based on uh, soybeans or if it's analyzing it based on just the soil content period or soil type period. But either way we go about it, this is a good start because corn will need a lot of nitrogen. So if we need more, we'll come by and after we plant, we'll just see what it shows and add some uh, fertilizer if we need to. This will just cut down on the amount of fertilizer we have to buy. So either way, we are coming out in the end above. I do not know what is going on with this trailer. It never did that with the other tractor. But with this particular tractor, I don't know if it's got something down here. Oh, I wonder if it's because of those. Hmm. I don't know if it's the same way on the other with the three point linkage. I would think it would be. But I don't know. I never looked at it. Because the trailer never bounced like that. Of course, I don't know if I ever turned that sharp with it either. So that... There it goes again. I'm really kind of surprised we're getting as many fields covered as we are because 18,000 liters of uh, manure. But we are, I mean, we're pretty high as far as the nitrogen count goes. So I think we only have one level. See, it's at 180. Yeah, we only had to go up 1 to 200. So that's probably part of it. But hopefully we can keep our nitrogen levels high. We've got the, I think it's 10 fields, uh, nit uh, I'm sorry, uh, soybean corn rotation. And then the rest of the fields are uh, all either wheat and 
other crops. I'm not sure exactly what they are. I've got them on my rotation list. But I think I only have two fields aside from my soybean and corn fields. And then the rest of the fields are owned by other farmers. And best I can tell, the only thing other farmers grow in this area is canola. So if we can keep the canola farmers happy, we might not have to grow any canola ourselves. So if we can get enough of those contracts and fill them and then store what we don't uh, have to have for the contract, we might be able to store enough to take care of feeding our pigs. That's the only thing we would need canola for is for our pigs. Since our typical cash crop is canola, I'm sorry, corn and soybeans. We're getting down below 50% left on this uh, manure spreader. So here in a bit, we might have to run back and fill this trailer up again. I don't know if we're going to have quite enough to finish off this field it's still got a pretty good amount oops i hit the wrong button yeah it's starting to get dark on us too Five o'clock, that's about time. So whichever comes first, the trailer runs out or it gets dark, we'll head back to the main farm. If it's not dark, we'll finish filling up this trailer. Get it ready for the next time we're out to uh, spread. Somehow or other, we've got a strip here that is very low in nitrogen. If nothing else, those two strips right there might end up running us out. Oh yeah, it's coming down really quick right through there. Might go ahead and change up the plan here and go take care of those spots. That way we can take care of this into the field and we won't have to come out so far if we do have to come back. I just run over to the pig farm and load up the rest of the manure there, but I don't think there was but half a shovel full. But I'm trying to kind of figure out a system here I'm thinking that during the summertime, well, spring and summer, we might just keep, uh, not add straw to the cattle and the pigs so that we can get slurry. And then slurry we can take down to the BGA and sell that and get digestate. And then we'll have that to start off the, the autumn and this winter time so if we need any fertilizer at the beginning of spring next year we'll have the digestate and then of course we'll we'll do uh, straw through the winter time through the fall and the winter we'll go ahead and add straw into the cattle and the pigs and that'll get us started also with uh, manure So I'm just kind of sitting here trying to figure out a system that'll work for us to make sure we have uh, enough manure to start the year off next uh, spring.
because I do play with seasons. So if you give them hay, I'm sorry, if you give them straw, the animals, the pigs and cows, then they give you manure. If you don't give them straw, they give you slurry. So I've heard other people complain that they wished you could just get both. Because, I mean, in real life, you're going to get your liquid manure and then you're going to get your um, hard manure or uh, straw pack manure. So, I don't know. Don't know what the thinking was there to give you one or the other, but not both. I'm sure we'll figure a pattern out, though, as we go. But for now, it looks like what we have manure-wise was plenty to get the grass fields, which is what I primarily want to take care of with the manure is the grass fields. I'm not sure if it's a common practice to use manure on arable crops. Not really sure on that. Unfortunately, that's kind of a area that I'm not real well brushed up on. I'll just go through here and kind of fill in this area up here. I wondered if it was going to do that. It looks like it caught it, though. Good deal. If it does look like it ends up getting too dark to be able to do any more spreading we'll have to go home and sleep the night away and when we wake up tomorrow we might be knee deep busy and planting but I know one thing we're going to have to do pretty much right off the bat is we've got to get the contracts filled and then I think our wheat field has already been planted so there's not anything on our farm that we can plant right away. I own field 11, but due to a glitch in the system, I thought whenever I released the lease on it, I was getting rid of that area. It shows right here that field 11 is owned I don't know if I went over this, but that field 11 is actually just regular meadow grass. The field itself won't ever give me a contract because it's not under the right pro uh, property parameters, I guess. So I never got a contract on it before, so I bought it thinking I'd just use it to plant my own crops for the hog farm and I forgot about that and went and released the lease on it and in the end I ended up getting rid of a I think it's two hundred thousand dollar field I just gave it back and didn't get a thing for it But if I want to buy it back, I think that's what it is, is 200,000. Yeah, 242,000, almost 243. So that was a almost $250,000 mistake on my part, which is going to make it even tougher to pay off our loan, which is 250,000. Which if I discussed my, uh, completion uh, goals I guess you could say on this map one of the things I want to do is have the loan paid off so I want to get the loan paid off and I want to be able to completely and totally support our animal system and make money off of them by buying and selling the pigs and buying and selling the feeder cows and then making money off the milk cows. Making money off the milk. 
And once we can do that and have our bins full of grain, then I would say we probably accomplished our goals. And I, I mentioned it before, but yes, I have already been playing this map for I think one year as far as seasons goes. I think I already went through one season with this map. Long enough that I was able to make enough money to buy the animals, but now we gotta be on here long enough to make money from the animals. <laughs> I don't know if that's going to take us two years, one year, or if we're going to end up knee deep in debt and never get out of debt. Not sure yet. Kind of up in the air. My play style may not be the same as some, but I mean, we pretty much own enough equipment to do the work we need to do. I don't think we're going to need to buy anything else. And I don't know what we'll do if we end up trying to do our own forage harvesting. I don't know if it would be best for us to just lease the equipment. Or if we have enough money, should we just go ahead and buy it? I do have some single row forage harvesting equipment. But single row just takes forever. And being six day seasons and having to take care of all these fields ourselves. And one of my rules is I don't use hired help. I'm a one man show, keeping in the spirit of the original Clark Farms. But being a one man show, if I do anything, if I had any hired help, it would imitate having a buddy out here working, say like they're working the harvester and I'm driving the grain cart. That would be about the limits in my mind of us being able to utilize hired help is to run a harvester. Anything other than that, I think it's gotta be something that we do ourselves just to keep in the spirit of the original. All right, I think we're going to call that done. I don't see anything else we can do over here. We can run back to the main farm and hit field one. Field one's right here. Field one is right here, and it's not a whole great big area that needs to be done. Because this part here, we can't do anything with. This one's going to be soybeans next year. So, nothing to do there. And we probably better get some, well, not the field lights. We probably better just put on the headlights. And this one don't have beacons, so I guess we better turn our hazards on. Of course, I could run in the back way, and then I don't have to worry about it. I think I will, because... I'm not for certain, but I'm going to bet that there's a gate open up here. And if that's the case, we probably better get that shut tonight. Yeah, there's not but a shovel or two, a bucket or two full of manure right there. But this is the other field we just min spread manure on. You can see I was out here doing the grass field earlier, and most of it's uh, pretty much done. Not really, other than just a few tidbits here and there that we might have to come back and catch later because it would let us do it now. Oh, yeah. I left that gate open just as wide as ever. Oh, shame on me. Once again, but the way the cows all gather around that barn down there and won't leave the drive path. 
<laughs> Not much of a chance they'd get out anyhow. Alright, we can turn these off now because give us some real light going. Since we're not on the main roads and everything else we're doing is going to be on our property. But I guess so long as it's daylight, I might as well try to load this trailer up and see if we can't throw some manure on field one. this set here. Whoop. Yeah, as you can see, this thing was pretty full and I pretty much emptied it out now. And that was just, uh, I'm pretty certain this is trailer number three here. It could be four. Sure doesn't take much to fill this bucket up whenever it's only a 940 liter bucket. And this being a 13,000 13, liter trailer takes about 14 or 15 buckets. I think I've mentioned before, but there are some high capacity buckets, but they don't give you the they don't give you the tool angles. And without those tool angles, I am blind because I can't really tell with this angle. And I hate having to shift. Whoa, why is it? Oh, I went down with the wrong one. Here I am talking about the tool angle stuff, and I'm messing it up as I'm talking about it. I think my tractor is camera shy because I do so much better driving it whenever I'm not on camera. As soon as it knows I'm recording, it starts messing up. Or is that because of me? I don't really know. I mentioned before about this hole behind me here. The grass covering it. You notice every once in a while, cows will walk up. And to me, it looks like they're squatting. Because <laughs> where, where they hit the side of that hole... Their back end goes down and their front end comes up. It's just kind of an optical illusion, but still kind of makes you wonder. I'd never seen a cow squat before, but not to say they wouldn't. I think we've only got a few more bucket fulls out of here. And then we're done with the manure. which I believe is going to be the end of it because the cows and the hogs are all getting low on straw. So we'll be pretty much at the end of the manure because it's going to be spring starting tomorrow and based on what I was saying earlier, I don't want to give 
any straw to them during the spring and the uh, summertime so that we can get some slurry. Make a little bit of money off of the slurry and then get free digestate in return as well. But in order to use the digestate, we'll have to get a digestate spreader. But maybe by the end of the season, we'll have enough money to do that. Because I will tell you, from my experience last season, that dried corn, since we have a corn dryer on the farm, that dried corn is uh, pretty lucrative. It does a lot better than the regular corn. Now we'll need to have some corn, some uh, wet corn, if you will. We'll need to have some of that for the pigs. I think that's, I think that's something that they eat, pigs. Yeah, corn, no, not just something, it's the main thing. So we won't be able to put all of the corn into the dryer. Which is another reason why I wanted to have a couple fields that were dedicated to just growing the crop for the hogs. So that we didn't have to count on those fields to fill our grain bins with the corn. And we will be growing some soybeans on the hog farm uh, fields. haven't decided if I wanted to take those two fields that I just, I was spreading manure on it whenever we started, and then we drove by field eight. I haven't decided if I want to keep those as part of our cash crop fields, or if I want to turn those into hog farm fields. Because if we turn them into hog farm fields, they'll be growing wheat and uh, sugar beets and stuff like that as the rotation goes through. I believe uh, soybeans and uh, sunflowers, uh, sunflower seeds, sunflowers. I'm not sure what it is. I think it's just sunflowers. But all things that we feed to the hogs, so none of it would come back to the main farm. It would just stay out there at the pig farm, which we've got the. I think it's Acron. Acron or um, just look it up here. I think it's under auger wagons. Yeah, right there. Acron. I got the Acron bagging system so that any kind of crops that we get for the pigs, hogs, we can just throw in those Acron bags. And then we don't have to buy any silos. I think that, well, it didn't pick it up, but it's right there. Let's see if I can get this thing zeroed. There we go. All right, we're done on that. We will get some more manure, of course, because there's still straw left. But... As far as spreading manure goes this year, we're done with it after this trailer. So we'll go see how much of it we can spread on field one. And I'm going to take this shovel or bucket and park it up against the manure pit instead of just leaving it like I had it. Because whenever it comes to putting hay in the shed, we don't want this bucket sitting out in the way. Oops. Oops. I don't want to put it too terribly close because it'll start filling with manure. But, I mean, it's not a big deal. 
All right. Hopefully we can get all a filled one with this manure. But if not, we'll at least get as much as we can. And I think it's still daylight enough to go ahead and take care of it. So we'll run up here and see if we can't do that. I just happened to look at the clock and it looks like we're pretty close to our time limit here. Okay, we're at a point here now where I think we'll go ahead and end this particular video. And uh, we'll come back next time and we'll see if we can't get some manure spread on field one. Until then, have a great day and stay safe out there.